Now, the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the earth in blatant disobedience of Genesis 9-1. Now the key verse, the key statements are all in verse 4. Number one, they aim to build a city. Number two, they aim to build a tower in the city that reaches up into the heavens. Three, they aim to make a name for themselves. Four, they aim not to be dispersed over the whole earth. The first two of those correspond to the second two. Building a city corresponds to avoiding being dispersed. We're going to build a city, put the walls around us, be safe, secure here, not going to spread. And building a tower that might reach into the heavens, of course, corresponds to that would make a name for us. If we could build such a tower, you could see it from so far away, we would be the center. So the city and the tower are the outward expressions of the sins in here. And what are the sins? Let's make these plain because they're yours and mine. Sin number one, the love of human praise. There's not a person in this room who doesn't struggle with that. Not one. You want it to come in different forms, depending on your personality, but you don't like to be disapproved of. Nobody glories when they're ripped to shreds, even with illegitimate criticism, let alone legitimate. So we're like this. Love of praise, so we're going to make a name for ourselves, so people will think well of us. Those folks in Shinar are powerful, smart. Organized. They know how to make the brick that really lasts. And the other sin is the love of security. We build a city. Cities represent security. Build a wall, run to the city. You can farm out there, but go in here at night. And we all struggle with the love of making our lives secure and making ourselves look good to other people. And when those are the dominating controls in our lives, we're this way. Now, God's will for human beings is not that we find our joy in the praise of men, but that we find our joy in knowing and praising Him. And God's will is not that we find our security in the things we can build, places we can go, locks we can put on our door alarms we can put on our car. That's not where to find our security. We're to find our security in Him and in glad obedience to Him. So, here's this spectacular sin of man, even after the flood, thunderclap of warning, don't sin like the world was sinning, wipe out the world, leave eight behind, And a few years later, we're no better than when we started. That's the point of the Old Testament. That's the point of these stories. Judgment, mercy, judgment, mercy, judgment, mercy. And we never improve. Never do we improve apart from redeeming grace. 